How's it going, my dreamers? This is Born a Dream, back with episode number 11 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Play. Be sure to leave a like down below if you're enjoying the video. Subscribe for some more Pokemon Ultra Moon content. And be sure to check out the playlist in the description down below if you'd like to see any previous episodes of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Play. Now, I gotta make a quick note, um, because you guys... Well, probably already knows by now, but uh, I accidentally deleted episode number eight, and that's sort of a regret. I mean, it is a regret for me, but um, at least it wasn't episode nine because episode nine is when we got the shiny, and that was kind of lit. Um, but uh, you guys missed out on the trial captain, also Team Skull taking Mantine and all their shenanigans, so. Um, it was a big episode, but it's like I I have the audio. I don't have the picture. So if I were to upload episode eight, it would just be all audio, which I don't know if you guys would want to see that. Uh, so, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this episode. Um, I was tempted to just sort of forget about episode number ten because all I was doing in that episode was fighting Hala. And there wasn't a lot of new content when you consider that I'm going to be fighting Hala in this episode too. Uh, but I did it anyways because it's a part of the Let's Play. You got to see my struggles. Okay? Like, I don't know if I really want to put out content where I'm not struggling. That's kind of like, you guys get a false impression of me. And I'd rather, you know, people um, not get a false impression of me. So, anyways... We're going to go ahead and jump into this battle. You guys will see the Grind It Out team. You guys will also see a new team member. So, uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So, well, Dreamer, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone. Oh, okay. We got to go through all this again. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Hala is here, and he is ready to challenge me. Okay, so... I'm going to explain the strategy here. Um, well, first off, let me show you the team. We have the team grinded up. And uh, they're all about level 16, except for the Young Goose. And except for this guy right here. <laughs> I meant to hit summary, and you guys see the bag on. But I got a bag on. So, that's awesome. Since he's out here, we may as well just... I... That was an accident. Whoops. Uh... I kind of want to give... Nah, I gotta... I gotta at least go for a Dragon Breath. Uh, but my strategy before I did that was... Uh... I was gonna go into Young Goose, and I was gonna use its Z-Power. Because Machop, as you can see, its only fighting move is... Revenge. And Revenge is a minus priority move. So you guys will be able to see the strategy now. So I was going to Z power. Um, hopefully do a decent amount of damage. And then it would take out my Young Goose. Not much I could do about that. But at least I get a good amount of damage off. And I force him to use a potion if I don't take out the Machop. I don't think I will. Damn it. I didn't... Ugh. Well that ruins that strategy. Oh well. Uh, so we gotta try something else. I'm already losing my Pokemon. Alright, let's go into... Let's go into Crab Brawler. And we'll try to get a workup sweep here. We'll see. We'll see. Didn't work last time, but we're a little better now. We're a little better leveled, so... Let's see. Should be able to... Eat that up. Good. Now, we're going to go for a... Hmm. We're going to have to go for a Brick Break. Let's see how much that does. Still using Revenge. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to do this again. I hope not. We should be alright. You know what? I have Revives now. I have like two Revives. So, we might be alright. Let's go into Flabebe. Well, Bebe should take this out at this range. 
Hopefully, please. Good. Took it out. Awesome. Alright, so, now I need something... He's gonna go into Makahita, never mind. I thought he might go into, uh... Crab Brawler. But he didn't. So, uh, what am I gonna do about Makahita? I think... I might... I think I'm gonna go into Grimer. Oh, that's right! Grimer has Acid Spray now. I'm trying to make a decision here. I think I'm gonna. I I'm gonna go into Grimer. Let's go into Grimer. I wanted to save Grimer for Crab Brawler, but I think it's I think it'd be good to use right now. All right, so we have the Makahita here. Uh, we're gonna go for the. Ooh, should I go for Disable? Let's go for the Acid Spray. It's gonna go for Fake Out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go for the Acid Spray. We should be faster. Good. Come on. What are you gonna do? Sand Attack. But... Hmm... You know what we do? Since I lowered its special defense... Let's go into, uh, Flabebe. And then, let's see what it goes for. Is it gonna go for Sand Attack or a Fighting Move? Sand attack. Okay. So we just gotta not miss Fairy Wind. We just gotta not miss Fairy Wind. We should be able... If we can not miss Fairy Wind, we should be okay. I miss Fairy Wind. Oh my god, Makahita. <sighs> We're gonna do this? Seriously? Okay, come on. Hit. Thank you. Should do a good amount of damage. I almost took it out. He's gonna keep doing this shit. Uh, you're gonna heal, so I'm gonna switch out. So I can, uh, get rid of the damage. Get rid of the, uh, accuracy drop, I mean. Yeah, you're gonna potion. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and acid spray again. And you're gonna sand attack. Okay. You just need to hit, Grimer. Just hit. Hit. Thank you. Alright. So now... I mean, I could keep spraying. I could keep spamming acid spray on it. I'm gonna switch again. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Poplio because Poplio gets disarming voice, and uh, disarming voice is a perfect accuracy move. So you can sand attack. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disarming voice. Maybe you'll take it out. This isn't fairy stab though. We took it out. Awesome. Crit. Yes. The crit might have mattered. The crit might have mattered. Level 17. Great. You're going to evolve after this battle. Awesome. I didn't want to evolve it off screen. I wanted to evolve it in this battle. And that's what's going to end up happening. Uh, so. I think what we're going to do is I actually will stay in with Poplio. Because I wanted to take the uh, Z move. I want Poplio to take the Z move. And then we'll go ahead and I think I want to Where's my revives? Right here. How many revives do I have? One. I actually have one. I thought I had two. Uh we can heal up Crab Brawler. That's fine. Go for the Z move. Good. Good, good, good. I should have just let I should have just kept Young Goose, and then Young Goose could have taken this instead of Poplio, but... So, let's take it out. I don't care either way. I'm at the red. Good. Oh, wait. My, maybe I do care. Maybe I do care. Uh... Just for shits and giggles, I want to see something. Let's see if I'll, I could... Maybe outspeed. I doubt it. I actually doubt it, but can I like I can I can hit there. I won't outspeed. Okay. So we'll heal up uh crap brawler. Okay. 
He's gonna go for the power-up punch. This is where things get really tricky. This is where things get really tricky. Uh, I don't know if... I should go out to Grimer right now. Because I think... I'm gonna try Grimer. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe... Here's something we could do. Here's something we could do. Okay. So... What does Z Disable do? What does Z's Disable do? For four turns, this move prevents the target from using the move it last used. Reset stats. Okay. So we don't... That's not necessary at all. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the Acid Spray. I just want to get damage off, honestly. It's going to go for the Leer. Ooh. You know what? That's not bad. Hmm. Well, since I saw the Leer... Should I switch, or should I stay in with Grimer? Huh. I think I'm gonna switch. And maybe, just maybe, this crab, this crab baller, bra brawler can survive. It survived. Okay, so it's at plus two now. All right. Uh, so I think what I want to do is... That's not going to matter, though. I think I'm just pointlessly stalling at this point. You know what? Hold up. Hmm. I think I'll heal Grimer just in case. But I have an idea. I don't know if this is going to work, though. Okay, it's plus three, right? Plus three. Okay, so we just need to outspeed. Can I outspeed? I have no idea. Oh, I'm not gonna outspeed. That's actually bad. Oh. So I guess. Guess what we're gonna do is this. Check it out. We're actually gonna use this. Raises all stats. So we're gonna use this. Cause I desperately need to use this. Everything has risen. Okay. Ple it's going for Leer. Great! I think we might have this. I think, I think we could get this. Come on. We're faster. Please take it out. Yes! Awesome. We did it. Oh my god. How is just... Hala is just... Too difficult, man. Too difficult. And look at that. We got Poplio evolving on screen for you guys. Awesome. I could have played that battle completely differently, and I think it would have been a little easier. But we managed to pull it off in the end. That's what really matters. So I'm happy. I'm happy that we managed to beat Hala. Because we weren't getting any further in the story if we didn't beat Hala. So. Uh, now Brion will actually get a uh, fairy stab, right? Alright, let's read his text entry. So, why don't you check out what kind of new Pokemon you evolve? Okay. It attacks by smacking its enemies with the exploding water balloons that it creates. Literally all it says. Okay. Didn't, didn't want to learn any moves either, unfortunately. Hmm. The results can't come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer and what a fine Pokemon too. Tapu Koko Koko! Ho, our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. <laughs> Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except this Z Crystal, it allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. Nice! I can actually give this a crap brawler now. Awesome. It'll do a lot more damage than the uh than his crab brawler, because his crab brawler is based off of power up punch. Mines is gonna be based off of uh brick break. So you obtain a fight name Z. You open up the Z crystals pocket and put the fight name Z away inside. Observe, dreamer. 
If you wish to use the fighting type Z power, move your arms like this. Then bend your hips like this and pose. Got it. Now then, Dreamer, with this victory, you have cleared all the trials of Milly Milly Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Milly Milly stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in, tra in a trade, will obey you. Did they, did they do that in Sun and Moon? I don't recall. They probably did. I just didn't pay attention to it. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but is very much real. As you continue on your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that meet you. Both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. And there's Tauros. Yeah. Whoa there, Tauros. I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you'd like? No. No reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the Island Challenge too. I'll take care of all the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon Dreamer. Nice, we get Tauros now. Ride Pager. Why don't you hop on there? So I just jump on him? Nice. <laughs> nice. And Nebby's out of the bag. God damn it. The world looks a bit different from atop a mighty Tauros, huh? Sea Dreamer, here in Alola, all our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain some of the gear I gave you. Your Ride Pager is a tool that lets you summon a Ride Pokemon. According to the instruction, instructions, you need only press the Y button to turn on your Ride Pager. Use the B button to dash. And your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. Have a little rump around Alolo with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed I am. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. Yeah, that's actually kind of crazy. Congratulations, streamer! Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer school. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z power. Oh, I know. Why not buy, Why not stop by the Alola Photo Club for a commemorative photo? With Tauros, you can be down to Holly City in no time at all. Very well then. Off on your island challenge you, may, you go. May the future bring you happiness. With a little help from Toro Streamer, you'll be able to smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Alright, I got a little something for you too. False Wipe. Nice. Okay. False Wipe is a move that will leave your opponent with 1 HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon and let Rotom learn all about them. But first, you gotta go let your mom know what you're up to. When you're done... With that, head on down to the marina in Holly City. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, if you're heading to Holly, you should totally check out the shopping mall. And the Alola Photo Club, too. What do you mean? Pew. You know, the one Lima mentioned. He totally had the right idea. You should go to the photo club and take a special photo to remember clearing your first grand trial. Good thinking, Hal. And once you finish your grand trial, you'll be doing the same thing, yeah? <laughs> I sure hope so, but first... Come on, Tutu, don't go too easy on me now. So they're going to battle too. Does he even have any Pokemon that are strong against uh, fighting? You're all getting so strong already. Yeah, I can't wait to see much more you grow. you'll grow. Alright, time to get to... The boat ready, Lily. You gonna help me clean it? <laughs> I guess that's a yes. Alright. Well, may as well uh, 
give the good old Tauros a run. And, uh, yeah, we have a Tauros again. Nice. This is a lot of fun to ride around with. So, uh, last thing we're going to do in Millie Millie Island is... I want to break a rock. Where's a, Where are the rocks on Route 1? Here it is. There we go. That's what I want. There we go. That's what I want. Let's see. This is where you catch Pikachus, right? I think so. Alright. Uh... Uh, for some reason, I thought you could jump up with Tauros, but I guess not. You go ahead and uh, grab the nugget there, and let's do this. So I want to go to Ten Carat Hill uh, because I'm very curious about it. I'm very, very curious about what it's like now. I mean, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that. Uh, that it might be a little different because you can't get Necrozma there anymore since Necrozma is the box art Pokemon. Sorry, Zygarde. Um, so, ah, oh, come on, man. So I'm wondering if there's anything different about it. That's all. Slowpoke. All right, so. Let's go ahead and run from this. And, uh, let's go ahead and break these rocks. Let's see. Get an item there. Okay. Next attack. Awesome. And, uh... Okay, let's see what Pokemon are here. May as well, right? Carbink. Okay. By the way, off-screen, I did a little bit of looking around. And there is somebody that is asking for a Sableye. Uh, from 10 Carat Hill, and the only way you can get Sableye is from SOS Calling from uh, Carbink. So, if you guys want to check that out, you can. I don't know if I'll get to that. But, I mean, I might. I might. Just to see. Uh, I might do it off screen. I don't want to do it on screen because SOS Chaining is kind of boring. Uh, so, yeah, and I don't have the uh, Drillin Orbs yet either, so. We could do that off screen. I can show you guys what he gives you, but uh, let me go ahead. I gotta get off Tauros here. I gotta get this item, which is a super potion. There's a lot of super potions in this game. Like all over Millie Millie Island. There's super potions everywhere. Rock and Rolla, okay. I think Rock and Rollas were in uh, Sun and Moon down here, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure, actually. Go ahead and run. And then, let's grab this. Ultra Ball. Wow, I already got an Ultra Ball. Nice. Alright, let's see. I gotta get Tauros again. This is really annoying. I have to keep getting on and off Tauros. Ter Alright, anything up... Oop, wait. This is new. This is actually new. I feel like this is new. There was not, like, a uh, slope going up this way. They gave you a flat dead end. So, do I want them a while? You can't get Mega Evolutions till post-game, right? So, no, I don't think I do. I have enough fairy types. I don't need them a while. It'd just be fun just running through the game with a Mega Wild Wild, man. That would be crazy. Hmm... Maybe this was here. This was here. You get the uh, flying. Let's see. Is it the flying? Yes, it's the flying EMZ. Awesome. I can use that for Salamence. Whenever I get it one. Oh. Oh. The, glis the glistening flying EMZ. It's yours now. Watch as I show you my dance. Got it. I got it. Supersonic Psy Strike is a devastating blow from the op open sky. Use it well. Okay. Interesting. They didn't show her in Sun and Moon, did they? I don't... I mean, she was in Sun and Moon, but they didn't show her when you uh, picked up the flying EMZ. I remember I got that off screen. I didn't do it on screen. Psyduck, you are really annoying. 
You are like the most annoying Pokemon in this game. I hate to break it to you, but you actually are. So. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, that's where you get the flying EMZ. So. Hope you guys enjoy that. Let's see. Alright, so let's see what's outside. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. I don't know if there's going to be anything too different. We got a hard stone. Okay. Uh, this is where you get Machops. This is also where you get Rock Ruffs. But, uh, there's a lot of items here. Got another nugget. We got two nuggets. That's a lot of money, man. That's 10k. 10 stacks. Okay. Great ball. Okay. What if we did see Necrozma here? That'd be dope. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for some, like, um, foreshadowing or whatever of where to, of Necrozma. So, uh, I don't know if I want to catch a Machop. I don't think I do. Machop is interesting, but I did say I was going to use more Alola Pokemon in this Let's Play, so I'm going to try to steer away from Machop, actually. Uh, so, let's see. Anything over here? Shit! I did not mean to do that. Well, that's a Spinda. I don't really want a Spinda. Like, at all. Okay. Let me run. Let me run. And, uh... I was gonna say, I know there's a back path here, too. I remember that. That idea sort of spurred in my mind when, uh... Smack down! Smack down. That's a good TM. That's a good early move TM. So we got another Machop. Okay. I haven't seen any Rock Ruffs yet. That is interesting. I'm gonna see about going all the way to the top here. See if there's anything, you know? You never know, there could be something. Uh, nope, it's a whole lot of nothing. Alright, let me head back down then. Come on, don't do that. Yo, let me see a shiny rock rough right now. Because <laughs> I went out of my way to come here, so, you know, in return, I should get a shiny Pokemon. I didn't have to come out here. The game did not tell me to go over here. But I did it anyways. So I should be rewarded with a shiny. That's how that's how this game works now. <laughs> that's how this game works. Anytime you go out of your way like to do something and it's not story related, you should get a shiny for your troubles. <laughs> that's how I got shiny for baby. I don't think you guys could would uh, be upset with that, right? I mean, you do go, you do, wait. Oh, shit, I can't use that example because you actually do need to do the uh, shiny Gyarados thing to progress in the story. <laughs> I was going to use that as an example. Like, shiny Gyarados is all the way up in the Lake of Rage. You don't have to go all the way up there, but you actually do. So, never mind. Can't use that example. Oh, well. Yo, what about a shiny Psyduck? <laughs> what about a shiny Psyduck? Even though I call it the most annoying Pokemon, I mean, if it was a shiny, I wouldn't be calling it annoying. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, let me break these rocks. Boom! Alright. That, I got, I got my anger out there. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I have to make sure these videos are under 30 minutes, because, uh, at, like, 33 minutes, my phone stops recording, and then it starts another recording, but it sh takes, it cuts out like 10 seconds and that's like really weird uh so i don't really want to deal with that too much i really need this custom firmware that i'm waiting on uh so but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here so i'd like to thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe do all the good stuff in the next episode we will go ahead and i think we're gonna go to alcala island and uh see what is over on alcala island so i will see you guys then keep living the dream Goodbye.